So for today's vlog, we've got to start off with probably the most well-dressed man in the UK. He's got a brand new rig out. He's going to talk you through it. It's the one and only Young Dave. Good evening. Oh, yes, good evening, everyone. So, a little purchase at uh, Zara. No one. So, can we film me in on, on as we go down the outfit from the top? Glasses, where are they from? They're from uh, my uh, opticians of a long time, Milligan's. I think that Zeus or something like okay. that. Okay, yeah. nice. What's the jacket and the, the polo well, neck? Well, the jacket is Casey of Zara. Yeah. Got some great stuff, some great men swagging at the moment, so get down there, lads. Polo neck, is that? Next. Black neck, polo neck. The kex. Next. Is there a belt going on? No. No, no it. belt. <laughs> and then a uh, couple of nice shiny bits there. The, where, where are they from? They were Casey of next again. Yeah, freshly polished them, but the jacket is looking Thank you. And he's just in case he's got his uh, his gun in his bag. Yeah, exactly. And then over the York. Hey, Dad. Uh, just introducing the vlog for Preston. Heading okay. down to Riva Show Bar tonight. Just excited. on our way. We're very excited. So much so, me and Dave have been out today. We got out early. Went into Starbucks for a little coffee and a chat. So, uh, on our way. I'm sure it's going to be a fantastic night. There's some great things. Apparently, Jack was saying, what did it used to be? Did it used to be a... It's a bingo hall, I Bingo think. hall or something. But now it's, it's a great cabaret venue, so I'm really looking forward to it. Belter. And uh, the man, Jack Ryan, fresh out of a time portal from 1973, a.k.a. Ah. Austin Powers, is back tonight with the boys. I'm looking forward to seeing him. I don't think we've worked for him for a le very long time, we have haven't we? worked for Jack for a long time. Don't forget the problem with Jack is you can work with him one week and the next week he has to be sorry, you know, all of these things with all the like ice and everything, cryogenic oh, a, a, a cryogenic chamber. That's it, and he, yeah. he's got to go back into the 70s to get his hair done, to get his suits, and uh, just the way he talks, it's very round, round about 1975 I placed Jack. Um, apparently, when they were filming, what was that? What was that film that he was in? That uh, Austin Powers. Oh, he's got a when we were filming Austin Powers, Jack Ryan was a special consultant to Austin Powers. <laughs> he, he had to show everybody, all the actors, you know, what the way to move as and speak as people do in the seventies. Because Jack is from nineteen seventy-five. Yeah, baby. <laughs> nice one. Looking forward to seeing him tonight. Looking forward to seeing all of you in Preston. Come along the way with us. Jumping in my car. Let's go off to Preston. On the road, first stop, we'll be off. Well, we've just stopped on the McGull Road and anybody, probably anyone a, bit, a little bit older, if you just pan over towards the right there, Quiet. you'll see McGull Health Park. Now what that is, they keep changing the name. It's the old Ashworth Hospital, a men, you know, it's a mental hospital. Oh yeah, lots A lot of serial way. killers were there. A lot of very, very evil people were in yes. there. Uh, Yorkshire Ripper stayed there for a while, Peter Sutcliffe, Brady. Ian Brady. So it was a horrible fucking place. So one of the assassin isn't so, in there? Well, it's, well, at least, you know, it's comforting <laughs> to know that, you know, Brady <laughs> and the other fella Sutcliffe aren't there anymore. They're actually burning in hell. So that's fantastic. Oh, right. And here we are, just on the outskirts of McGull. Just going into the Starbucks. This has all been redeveloped from when I remember it a few years ago. It's very different. But Ashworth, uh, they had a hospital. It's strange this. They've got a club, a night, not a nightclub, like a social club on the grounds. And I did a show there a few years ago. Well, for the staff. Well, yeah, they just used the room. But the strange thing was, I was on there with a couple of strippers in the 80s. Go on. And you're in a mental hospital. And when I looked at the fucking wall, you had a big clock. And it was 8 o'clock at night. But the clock showed one o'clock in the morning. It's crazy, isn't it? Mad, that. <laughs> right. Hey, love, can I get a short black Americano, please, with an extra shot? Do you want short or tall? Short. Short black Americano, extra shot. Anything else? No, that's cool. Thank you. Yes. Well, anyway, we better get on our way. The whole crew is here tonight. Young Dave in the back. My dad yeah, in the pazzy. Yeah, as you say, it's a strange thing. Right opposite this... Uh, McGull Medical, so it's just, all it is, it used to be called Park Lane Mental Hospital and every now and then it got such a bad name, they changed the name, then they changed it to Ashworth 
Now they've changed it to this Magul Medical fucking concourse or something. Magul Medical thing. They just keep changing the name. Very good at doing that. It's just like in Liverpool. There was a place called Council Farm, an area of Liverpool. It was dead rough, got a very bad name. So they just, people just, they just changed the name. Council changed the name of it to Stockbridge Village. But God help anybody who thought, oh, Stockbridge Village will go in there and have a picnic. <laughs> you know, probably... Someone from down south, oh, it's a lovely place, Stockbridge Village. Let's stop in one of the lovely pubs and have a pub lunch. And you end up with a fucking knife in your head, you know. Fight for Funny your life. Enough. Right, yeah, quick, quick fire questions from two dyed in the wool scousers. Roughest pub in Liverpool of all time? It used to be the Eagle and Child in Heighton, but that's been knocked down. I wouldn't like to say because things have changed. People don't really kind of like. Yeah, but of all time, a moment in time, Eagle well, and Child. Well, my dad said the Crown it was called the Ponderosa in Stockgate Lane. Yeah. Okay. We had a few contenders. Yeah, the Crown was a bit rough. Cheers. Thank you so much. Yeah. Please, thank you. One sec. Uh, yeah, yeah, so any other contenders? Yeah, you had the flying saucer and speak. Will you just grab that a sec while I... Uh... Yeah, there's two cups on it. So uh, so yeah, roughest pubs in Liverpool. You yeah, had the Eagle and Child in Heighton. You've also, North Liverpool, you had the Eden Bale. Which oh, is the Eden a pub. Vale. The Eden Vale's fucking yeah, terrible rough. I've done a comedy spot twice on the Eden Vale. It's one of the roughest places in Liverpool. Fucking horrible. The Eden Vale in Netherton. <laughs> and... Uh, People that live in Everton originally from Marsh Lane, they were all moved out after uh, the war. <coughs> Marsh Lane was terribly rough. It used to be a place that a Salisbury. Didn't me Auntie Kitty have a pub there? She had a pub down there, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure which one it was, I can't remember, Will. But there's, there's so many places. You've got pubs in Speak, which you wouldn't go in. You wouldn't throw a cat in. I think they're all knocked down now anyway. The Noah's Ark was rough, you know, but that's been, I used to be there all the time. That's been knocked down. <coughs> in fact, the Noah's Ark was that rough. They got Alan Rudkin, the world champion boxer, to be the landlord there, you know, there was that much trouble there. Mad dad. They had to stop all the trouble. Yeah. Right. So it's, it's funny, you know, the way they change names. Better get back on the motorway. 41 minutes to go. Nice, easy jock tonight. But yeah. Now look, <laughs> just a quick one. We right. go Health Park. Yeah. Look at it. It's like the East German fucking border. Oh my you god. You can't get in there. Call it a health park. It was originally Park Lane Mental Hospital. The home to some of the worst serial killers in the fucking UK. <laughs> then it changed its name to um, Ashworth. Now they've changed it. It keeps changing the fucking name so people don't get nervous about killers living on the doorstep. Ruthless death. Welcome to the city of Preston. Yeah, Preston, fantastic city. Great footballing city, Preston North End. Legendary club, and you won't remember, remember this, Will. We were in Preston in the FA Museum. Oh, when, we were, when I was a kid, yeah. When you were a kid. And we were in there the day, funny enough, at Kenneth Wollstone home. The old commentator died, yeah. Great strange, isn't it? I don't know who he is. Yeah, but he, he commented on the, uh, the World Cup final in 66. That was kind of told to know he died. But uh, Preston, the old capital of Lanc Lancashire, it used to be. That's so mad, they've got a Greg's outlet. Oh. wonder what he's selling at Greg's outlet. Oh. Inlet. Mad, that. Yeah. Fucking multi packs of sausage rolls, isn't there? Well, I've got two, two uh, deep fruit frozen boxes of chicken bacon. Thank you very much. Oh, love that. Anyway, Didn't even know you could buy so that. So, where we are at Preston, a lot of history behind Preston. Listen to Frankie. Former Roman settlement, the River Ribble that it's set upon, was uh, the biggest pause in Britain in Roman times. Then, you know, hundreds of years later on, it was the biggest city, the capital of Lancashire. And it's like its own little government here. They used to call it the Preston Guild. So there you go, there's a little bit of information. That's before Greater Manchester and Merseyside evolved. The old county of Lancashire, the capital of Lancashire, was Preston where we are now. Hopefully there's gonna be some mega fans here tonight because when there's mega fans here, they all know this man at the back as well. And uh, are you excited? 
Liverpool. I am, well, the last time I was here, I predicted Liverpool would win the European Cup. Too. And they did. So it was a while back. Are you excited, well, Dad? I'm quite excited and quite curious, really, to see what kind of crowd they're going to be and where they're all from. Well, it's a better vibe than last week in terms of the journey because we're only doing 40 minutes tonight. Last week in our six, it was just outrageous. But yeah, let's get on with it. But you've done very well last week. Will's a great driver all the way down to London, to the east end of London, 20 miles further on than London, at Pear Fleet. He'd done it, you know, he stopped a few times on the way back, but there and back to London, a total of like 440, 450 miles, really. We went the wrong way. We went to the train station car park. We're actually meant to go to the bus station car park, and we've been here before, haven't we? Been here before with Chef, Chef Dave and Big John. And I'll insert the video the from... In. That ramp over there we is where... We walked down that ramp and walked back up. <laughs> we did that mad famous video, yeah. yeah I'll yeah. insert video here. What else are you going to do on a Saturday? Sit in your fucking armchair wanking off to pop idols? Then try and avoid your wife's gaze as you struggle to come to terms with your sexless marriage? Then go and spunk your wages on kebabs, fruit machines and brasses? Fuck that for a laugh. I know what I'd rather do. Yeah, it was a good laugh meeting them there, wasn't it? That was the first oh. time we met Big John that night. Good lad, yeah, good lad, John. And Chef Dave, another legend. Right, better go. See you at the venue. There's already Here we are, the Eureka Show Bar. People outside already. People queuing. So, on the corner here. It's going to be a fantastic night. Fishy Gate in Preston. Really looking forward to it. It's going to be a marvellous night. With my handsome son, I mean, mate Dave. It'll be great. Okay, before anybody doesn't know. Really? Young Dave, as he's known on the uh, social media, is a fantastic opera singer. This man's 30 today. Thank you. Well, he's and he's too good. Yeah. yeah. I think we're here a bit early. Well, 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 Nice one, man. Let's go, we've got to do the sound check. Come on, Frank. Oh, you've got 30 minutes to get off me. Chillin'. Jesus. 30 minutes to get off me, bro. See you later. Welcome to Riva. Young Dave leading the way. A few sound lads. Good lads. Been on the A all day, though, After. Here's some of Dave's favourites, Abba. Yeah. Here we go. Evening. Hello, right. Hello guys. Hello. We come straight yeah. through? Yeah, yeah, of course, come on, Gabriel. Come on. All right, mate. All right. Hiya, lads. Yeah. Yes, yes, so we are at the venue, we're inside, you've done the sound check. Jack Ryan is not here yet. Where the fuck is he? You know, he's meant to, he's trying to get back on board, this guy. Where, where is this man? That's what I'm concerned about. He might have gone back to 1976. You might have gone back to 1970, yeah, as you said. Um, but yeah, we've done a sound check, we've just done a full security briefing. Everything's looking hunky dory, I'm confident. How are you feeling about it? Feeling great. Well, Dave will agree with me on this. You can see the respect that we're giving here. It's like Elvis on tour, Dave. It? it certainly is, mate. It's good people. And that's all. Makes a great couple of things. He's a nice lad. He's a good lad. He's boring. Yeah. What do you think, Dad? I think it's going to be a great, fantastic night. The door lads are spot on. They're all big lads and very well organised. By what's the guy's name? Of? Zoltan. Or Woody. Sultan and Woody. Yeah. Organised everything, fantastic. It's at the moment anyway, it's running like a dream. Yep, sounds off fill you in on what we've got. We've got Cokes, we've got lemonades, and we've got an assortment of snacks going on here. So all looking good. And yeah, we're living the dream, aren't we? It used to be booking and bingo, apparently. 
pulling that window. I just want to show you the hospitality that we've got here. Dave, what are you having? Grab bag of Walker's legendary lady sauces. Nobby's nuts. My dad's got some Nobby's nuts. And then we've got this this like basket of like all kinds of crisps in that. Cokes, zero percent lagers, lemonades, and some water. What more could you ask for? Nice heat in the building. Lovely night, eh? Great. Rocky's been for four years. I think he did, yeah. And they, I turned up the flat they used to have in Liverpool Road South. You know, by Mocha. By where I lived? Yeah. Right, well, it's it's an off-license now. It used to be a butcher's and Jimmy and Rocky had the flat. Because last time I seen some jokes, I've used some, some great time to bubble. Because it's a stay in the flat. In the goal. Some yeah. of the old went to the yeah, we stayed in Rocky and Jimmy's flat. Yes, people, what's happening? We've got Jack and Holly in the building. Jack's back. How are you I'm feeling, back. lad? I'm good, thanks. He's looking well. He's got new gnashes. He's a smile. Put your phone on me, He's looking well. Holly, you good? All good. Can't wait to watch the show. Bella, tell me, Dad's been watching. You watching old vlogs of me and Jack and Holly the other day, Last weren't you? Night. On his telly. Watch the first. I don't think Jimmy yeah. Kilbo ever did. And I watched the one. You would have known me a pause. You went down there with Will and I took security down there. Yeah, you just ran and me and you were in the car on it for some reason. So many people mentioned them vlogs to me. It feels like years ago now, doesn't it? Yeah, they're yeah. fucking unbelievable. Coming back, though. Coming back. <laughs> I've had 122 applicants for video editors, so my dad's seen that, so he knows they're coming back. And, and I know once they go back up, all kinds of mad birds be getting them fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a minute, what's this? <laughs> Hold on a minute, what's this? Fordy, what are you showing Holly there? This is a million Mallorca years ago, I've got that. It's six pack. That one. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's Still got it. Godfather Jimmy Rocky. Who are they, Dave? The old folks who did uh, Godfather Jimmy and Rocky. Which version are you on it? I'm not on it. It's 1971. That's Tom Jones. What's it address, Dave? Doesn't it say. To young Dave oh, or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's that's the other one I've got that he done for me in the dressing room. Yeah. Fucking hell. So, Jack, happy to be back, lad? Yeah, happy yeah. to be back. Thanks for bringing me back. Yeah, <laughs> lovely that's to see you. Saying. It's going to be a bell tonight. Yeah. It's the first time I have yeah, seen uh, Jack not go on stage in a suit since. 1970s. No, since we did. A show where that, if you ever remember that fellow in the kitchen, and he was going, Frankie Allen, he's not a legend, he's a diamond lad. Where was that? <laughs> Do you ever remember that pub? It was in there. Uh, oh, in Liverpool? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Frank in front of a fruit machine. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, yeah. was a suit with me and he made me go on and I was wearing the t-shirt. I was like, I can't go on dressed like this. Where was that? It was in a gap. Oh, uh, what was it called, lad? He probably didn't remember it. He with H by the... It's by Speak or Hunt's Cross? Hunt's Cross? Hunt's Cross? Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what it was called. Go on. It was called The Waiting Room. That's it. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It wasn't called The Waiting Room. Wasn't. No. It was like a... It was like one of those hungry horse things. It was like a, like a beef eater type yeah. pub, yeah. Was I on it? Yeah. You were on it and Jack was on it. And, um. Yeah, Jack jumped up. I Jack jumped always up. wore a suit. I can't believe you. I've never seen you go on a stage without a suit. He does the sh weekly shop in a suit and everything. <laughs> yeah, he does. To be honest with you, I don't know how I feel about not wearing a suit, but I think it's, it's more of a casual, isn't it? It's more... I think you've sold it. So it's Michael it. Myers, he's doing Austin <laughs> Powers 3. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't believe you. Mm. We were speaking, to be fair, Jack, about that time you got the suit from that gaff in Yorkshire. Was that Leeds? Oh, I just remember what you were talking about. story. Story. Jack Ryan's very young. He's only half my age, but for some reason... Half? He's, half. Yeah, you're half my age. He's from the 70s. And this is my theory. The oldest club I can ever remember I've been, you know, I've been working since the 20s is a Batley Variety, Batley variety club. club. And even me, but too too young to go in there. They used to have Shirley Bassey on, Tom Jones, Johnny Mattis, huge, the biggest variety club in the country during the seventies. So I said to Jack one day, "Fucking hell, to pity you were around when the variety." He said, 
A bordo de pena não é? Vou falar aí, 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 um, Black Onyx, Engelbert, Tom Hooking, Morecambe and Wise, Tom Jones, the Grumbleweeds. There's all kinds of mad, like, comedians from the 60s. And Jack was getting the suit made. They're like big wide lapels and everything. No, it wasn't. He never ends up making his suit less than this fella. It's all finished now and gone, but he made a jacket for Michael Jackson, you know, as well. Fuck! <laughs> Is that the one you got on the wall? No, Holly, to be honest, right? I will be honest with you. He, te he texted me and he was like, What do you think of this suit? And like, it was like fucking some half fella with a Rupert the Bear jacket on. And I was like, I was like, What is that, lad? And he showed me all these mad pictures on the wall. He's like, Lad, this fella makes belt of suits here, you know. Well, he was that, I couldn't believe a cannon of ball would be handy on a picture. Yeah. <laughs> the grumble weeds. The thing is, right, I was sick of wearing plain suits, so I just yeah. thought I'd get something made. I wanted something that was for me. He's the next time you're on a cruise, Jack, Jack, Hong Kong's the place to get them made. Hong Kong? Kong. Day, yeah. Or Thailand? No, Hong Kong made. Can't lose. <coughs> Your dad's training if he's still there. <laughs> Lovely, that. Right, well, we better get we'll moving. It's Excited it. to get on with the show. Room looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, brilliant. It's a good size, good so sight lines. Yeah. So yeah, me and Jack are gonna go down in five minutes time. Yeah. Me, <laughs> me and Jack are gonna go. I know. Me and Jack are gonna go down in five minutes time. Get the show moving. Yeah. Jack's gonna do one spot. My dad's gonna do two spots, uh, and then he does a song at the end of the show, Certainly and then a meet and greet. So. Paul, have you never seen him do before? He sings. Oh, sure. Sweet Caroline, yeah. 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 He does. I'm staying for that. He's Are you staying, yeah? yeah? Okay. And then he's going to do... Uh, do uh, you sing as well? I did it for two and a half, three years. Okay. No, what it was, it was different, it was opera. Because the great tenor dentist saw me, I was doing a bit of loose freelance, he was a for opera. I was have, yeah. having a bit yeah. of a sing song. Have, have you, you never seen Dave do opera? Uh, never. Oh, you are messing. Go on, Dave. Um, I was working the television at Granada and it was just doing it as a hobby. But yeah. it was the tenant and it's a woman into the dumbest because there was something with that voice. Come on, show me the biggest note you can do. Big flat, I'm done at all. Say what? Dave, can you do the Travon Core one? The Travon Core is well, unbelievable. Well, the first thing I learned was Deeper Men's Alvar. Frank Triago was telling me that you as Desdemona has been getting planted by someone in a dream. So I front you and I'm not very happy. Now this is a tenor's eye on I'm bad at it. So uh, and you're gonna have to look, you see, you've got to have this real silly fucked off look. And that's sitting down in your stomach like that. Wow. You mess all the, you mess all the, you mess all the, you mess all the. Ma, jump in the crowded court, the crowded court. You mess all the. Quality! Unbelievable, that thing. It's like old times being back on this camera. I was just going to say, this camera, it feels like uh, when we get my John Bolton. It feels like we're in the time warp, doesn't it? Jack, excited? Yeah. Let's Good fucking have it. it. Let's have it. Let's go. Where's the toilet? Through here.
finished right there. Nice one. How's it like? Jack, fill us in. What do you think? Straight like. It was sound. It was a bit funny at first. How do you mean? There was this fella like randomly shouting out random things like, I know what you're gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, it was sound. Me and Holly were watching it from the sides. What do you think of it? Like, Dude, it was great. I mean, the setup's fantastic. The audience wants to be involved. Yeah. You know, there's just the one thing, and I'm not being derogatory about them. Like, it's just the reality of it. They're just slow as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. really just slow. Slow. Holly, is that my right? Yeah. Slow. Yeah. <laughs> they're just like, like they're not a sharp audience. Oh, no, we were yeah. in Essex yeah. last week, and you can go bang, bang, bang. Yeah. And in Essex, people are like, hey, because they're on you it. Want to say this? Yeah, fuck it. Sorry, Preston, you're lovely. But when I say a bit slow, I don't mean thick. I just mean slow as in like, there's people in the audience who are not saying, very reactionary. We want to listen to the jokes, come on, concentrate on us. They just want to listen, they wanted it. Yeah. But there was a couple of people who'd been obviously on the ale all day, sat at the front, so. Yeah. But, good place, nice venue, and good to be back on the show. Yeah. We'll see you later. Yeah. No, to be honest with you, do it. He was subdued at the start, yeah. and I, it was weird because like I come out and started talking to them, and I was getting nothing at all. And then I said, "Are you looking forward to seeing Frank Yarn? Come on, give us it again." They're like, "Boom!" So they're like, they like wanted to be involved, but they just didn't kind of like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were they, they're not a usual audience. Oh, really? They're not. They're, they're not I saw you doing one of Dave's gags. Oh. Yeah, they just, he did one of Dave's gags on stage. Who did, Jack? Yeah. What, which one? You had a snake? No. Shut up. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> did you use that? You did, didn't you? I did. Can yeah. I yeah. hear Dave do it first? Yeah, go on, Dave. Do it the way you tell it. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. It's a, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, let's see the way I can do it, bro. Yeah, and I've just finished up a, a gag and routine. Go on. Shut up. <laughs> you were the face like a broken fucking radiator. The other yeah. side that day, you might try to hold that in. But I'm like, yeah, you were the face <laughs> like a broken radiator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Holly won't have heard. Oh. Holly won't have heard. Right, we have this thing, Jack. Obviously, me and Jack haven't seen each other for a while, so. He doesn't know this, but we've got this new thing now. Obviously, I've worked as a comic before. Jack works as a comic, my dad has. So, if there's like a dodgy situation and you need to get out of it, me and Dave have made this thing called In Case of Emergency Break Glass. Right? Is that right, Dave? Yeah? And it's basically to Dave's. Save your bacon, to to you save die. your bacon. It's Dave's yeah. killer, killer joke. Right? It's unbelievable, and I said it in Reddish, didn't I, Dave? There's a video of it. Save the show. Unbelievable. Change like, the show right round. Yeah, Dave, just do it to the camera if you don't mind. You, fuck with, face like an elephant's knee. You saturated twat. <laughs> yeah, isn't that like that? That would that would just pull you out of anything. It's fucking hilarious, Dave. Write that down for me, Dave. I'll send it to you. <laughs> well, well, ask about all the one-liners, I've said well. Do you want the mouth, the one, mouth one? The, uh, which one is that again? Mouth like a, a, like a, like a lion's breath, is that? Oh, your face like a lion's breath. <laughs> <laughs> all very surreal. He's old, he's old. Yeah. <laughs> very... that one, hey, bother all bollocks. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or you have, you, you, or you have the personality of the inside of a thing, or... Oh, well, by the way, any bears with glasses on? Did you know, Sonny? Yeah, there will be. There will be. Ray, you're all excited for this? Ready to go. I believe there's a bird at the front who's a bit of a dickhead shouting out all the time. So just before we go on, I'm going to have a word of the security. If she starts kicking off, getting out. So she had a go with Jack. I mean, I don't mind. I'll have a go with her, but I don't want her, as soon as I go out, to be kicking off. But she's got a. What's up? No. Got to ruin the momentum. Got you. Nice, Not nice. Right, my dad's about to go on. I'll go and grab the security. Let's get, get it moving. On the next show, I'm going to get some scarves, silk scarves. <laughs> Give the voice to the audience. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
don't even feel really thin. Oh, my God. Dude, do you want to buy some toothpaste? Fuck <laughs> off, my head. Don't talk to shit, Thomas. Do you want to buy some chocolate? <laughs> Thanks for that. Just come off what you thought. Elvis shop, Elvis. Great, great time. Did you, did you really enjoy it, yeah? Yeah, I enjoyed it. What? Boss, me and Jack were just talking about, it's just like a very, uh, you might have expected it. But it was slow, it was like in it, a like a, slow. Yeah. They're a bit slow, they didn't get off with you. You just like getting the piss taken to all out of them, that's all. Yeah. Jack was making a good point about you when you were riffing, they were just in bits over it. Yeah, yeah they loved it. They loved that, yeah. They loved taking the piss. Well done, you smashed it. Both killed it, so yeah. Good show so far, it's gonna be a smash. Yep. I mean the venue are, are overwhelmed by it, they're saying we don't have anything like this in the in, in the in the city, it's brilliant, it's yeah, brilliant. Boy. Yeah, so, going good in it, Hull? Loving it. To anyone out there, if anyone's on stage and they need to break glass in case of emergency, <laughs> you've got a fucking face like an elephant's knee. Yes! <laughs> Will? And as Jack would say, as I always say, shut up. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> well, did you hear that off him tonight? I heard that off Dave. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, exactly. Shut up. <laughs> good. Dude, just do it right to the camera if you wouldn't mind. Shut up! Yeah. Incredible. You emancipated twat. Oh. What's that, Dave? That was in Shawnee's the other New Year. Oh. I didn't let you down well, I was in a little. <laughs> <laughs> you look well there. Looking as sharp as a cup, mate. Fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about this one for the vlog? Wow. Come on, we best get on. <laughs> Uh, right. 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 Dave oh, John B. Dave John B. Okay, so that's Dave John B. That's how you do it. Everybody. Yeah. 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 I should be proud of it. I'll tell you what. I'm going to be proud of it. But to be here, we're going to be fresh and all the fucking people. God bless you. Fresh and let's hear it for Frankie Allen. Fucking loud than that. Do you want any more? Let's hear it from Frankie Allen. So many mates. Is that a chill out? Like, I'm chilled now, I'm 40. Chill, is that a... Oh no, it's not a 40, it's a vlog. Why don't you do, um... yeah, instead of a vlog, why don't you do uh, a life story thing? A life story? We've done loads of those podcasts and stuff well, like that over the time. Yeah. Stephen King to fucking direct it. <laughs> <laughs> Horror movie! Horror Frank, movie. tell us rounding off the night. Fantastic audience, lovely Ben, you. Um, the way that it's things were set out, it really lends itself to uh, comedy. You know, to speaking on the stage, lovely stage, beautiful people here. The, the very friendly door staff. You know, they're not bullies. They're lovely lads. Except for that Dave uh, John B. Dave John B. Not <laughs> Sloop John B. Dave John B. Here he is, a legend round fest in the northwest of England. And lovely wife Tracy. They really looked after us tonight. Fantastic. And uh, Zoltan as well, the uh, top man, yeah. Lovely lad, 
uh, love to come back here. Absolutely fantastic people, fantastic night. If you're looking for a good night out, come down here. Absolutely fantastic. Brilliant. Big thanks oh, for having us, guys. Leaving the building. Good night. Can I go bless? Take care. Take care. Uh, you just go and say goodbye first, Dave, to Zolson. Thank you so, so much. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just before we, just before we go, Zoltan's counting up his cash. Zoltan, good night tonight. Good night. Brilliant night. Brilliant. And he's been a superstar looking after us, so fair play. Thanks very much, everyone. Appreciate it. We're just in the bus station, so yeah, we'll just walk through that bit too. Thank you so much, mate. Great night, top man. Thank you very much. Lovely to meet you. See you later, pal. Thanks for looking after us. See you later. See you later. I'll be back in a bit soon. I'll sign you out for 11. Brill, appreciate it, Woody. We can't get in, can we, Dave? No, we can't. To the bus station. So we've got to try and get into the car park to the bus station. Who dares wins, mate? And we can walk up the ramp. I don't know how else the fucking hell we'd get in. There has to be another way in. They couldn't just let that happen, could they, surely, Dave? The famous walkway. I've been walking this way before. With Chef and Big John. Big John. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so we couldn't really talk before the end of the night because we had company. Yeah. But I just want a debrief of the night in general. You hit the nail on the head. A little bit of a different crowd tonight. So basically, they were just a good crowd, but they were kind of like a little bit slow, I thought. Getting some of the gags. A little bit kind of hilly billy, hilly, hillbilly, hillbilly, hillbilly style. <laughs> but, you know, we went down great. Everybody had a good night. It was fantastic. Lovely crowd. Thousands of pictures at the end. Zoltan, the manager there, good lad. Lovely, really lovely up fella. You know, it was Gary and Zoltan. But uh, Zoltan was, you know, he was the one who we had close communication with. Kept and making us tea. He's been excellent. Me and young on. Dave making us young tea. Yeah. Making us young tea. Making us uh, tea for me and young Dave. Sandwiches, crisps, nuts, everything. Really looked after us. It was fantastic. Yeah. Out of ten? Uh, eight. Yeah, I would give it an eight as well. Yeah. Yeah. Difference is with it not being our show when somebody buys the show in off us rather than us promoting the show You get a lot of they're only semi invested passive, passive audience members. Yeah, curious fans. Yeah, 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 so like they're not proper fans But all you know, in all, we're made up to have them there made you know, up to have them there, but but another good thing tonight, the security were fantastic. They were, they were very, really good, very yeah. good. Woody and all them. Um, and even, we've forgotten about the DJ, he was very good. Oh, Mike, yeah. Mike, yeah, sound, because yeah. I asked him, I said, I want to do the number right at the end, Sing, Sing Street, Caroline, will you make sure you have some reverb on effects, you'll make it yeah. sound a bit louder, a bit better, a bit echoey. And he'd done it all to a T. Now, last week was a fantastic uh, show that we had down in London at Pear Fleet Circus Tavern. The only well, fantastic night, but the only thing was after the introduction, my, I, I walk out to Dr. Dre, and um, when that f finished, it didn't finish in London, he, he carried on and I had to screen down, I switched it off, so put me off his stride a little bit. But Mike tonight, he knew exactly how much to play. As soon as I picked the mic up, put it over my mouth, he stopped playing the intro. So. Very professional place, very lovely place, very nice. Like all these places, though, a little bit cold. Uh, they did have a heater in the changes for No, you. they looked after us, don't get me wrong. I mean, the heat, the, the, you know, we had loads of food, tea, coffee, anything you could lay your hands on and 
lovely couch that sits on it. It's brilliant. It was great to have Jack with us tonight. It was great to see Holly. Dave was just being a classic gentleman as always. If anyone didn't know we were mob tied, now you'll see this guy. Yes. He's the, the head of the fucking Scouse Mafia. Scouse Mafia. Yeah, um, you'll know that we are. My dad smashed it. And, uh, you know, that number at the end just does really well because people just like like to get up and party yeah. and it's all good vibes. Dave was my cameraman on the meet and greet, so that was fantastic. And yeah, at least we're home for 11.46 and not 5 in the morning. Oh, That's no, all I'm night, concerned lads. about. We've had a great night. Me and Dave are shooting off now. Will's going in his house. So, Will shoots off, drop Dave off where he lives, which is a national secret. Oh, yes. Uh, even the CIA don't know. Uh, uh, the men in black, as the he calls them. men in black, as he yes, calls the men them. in black. But Will was great as well with his MC and tonight and organisation skills. Of course. I don't know, Zoltan and Will are quite similar, really, and they work together very well tonight. You know, we escorted down by the security onto the stage, off the stage. We were parked in a car park about 100 yards away on the other side of the road. And one of the, Woodsy, his name is, one of the security yeah. fellas, they're a good lad. He escorted us over. You know, he couldn't really ask for much more. Brilliant. Right. Love is and leave you. Thanks for a great night, Preston. Overall, very, very solid 8 out of 10. Virgin on eight and a half, nine, really, when it, the more I think about it. Eight out of ten. Eight, okay, you were an eight. Peace out, people. Dave, any words of wisdom before the year? No star, and uh, just uh, like to say, tomorrow's Sunday, a day of rest, full of zest. The week ahead, just do your best. Nice, Can nice. I say a little proverb tonight? Go on. He who laughs loudest laughs last. Oh, yes. Can I say one thing? Yeah. Nosta, come Brian Bith. Nosta, come Brian Bith. See you all in Pusali. Tiddly widdly. God bless you. Tiddly widdly, that means come to service. bed with me. Tiddly widdly.